Welcome to the Snack and a Crafty 5. This is the snack basket. And we will reach down. Oh, it's just, I don't grab the first one on top. I don't know why. It would, should just fold you in. But I'm going to grab this one. Alright, let's see what it is. Ooh. A chocolate mini panettone. Now I had the vanilla one of this back early in December remember? <laughs> when I was trying to get started and the vanilla one was delicious. So well, let's let's get the beets. Let's see. Um upside down ingredients are wheat flour, milk chocolate chips, cane sugar, whole milk, cocoa butter, chocolate liqueur. So not a whole bunch of different ones and not too many chemicals. Especially at the beginning. Meant to be given as a gift. <laughs> and let's see. It says made in Italy, but let's see what it's really made. Um, hmm. Well, the nutrition serving is the whole thing, the whole cake. 410 calories. That's a lot. Um, 21 grams of fat. 125 sodium. That's not too bad. 47 carbs. That makes sense. Sugar is 21. Actually, that's not too bad. I think it's similar to or less than a candy bar. And protein, 8. Oh, 8 protein. So that's good. It's written in... I think this might be made in Spain. I'm trying to see where it's made. Or this says Italy. I meant Italy. But is it really made in Italy? Dang, come on. Where, where is it made? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's made in Brazil. <laughs> All right. So, this is what it looks like. It looks nothing like this. This looks completely different than this. But, um, we'll cut that open in a minute. And I'm a little confused at my own self because I've been through all these coffee varieties plus one and I started a new one. So that's like three, six, eight coffees that I'm ranking, but only this is the fifth snack. So I'm not sure what happened there. Um, yeah, so we, we're going to cut this one open. And today's coffee is hazelnut cannoli. I don't know what a cannoli tastes like plain because I've always had like flavored ones so to me I'm not sure what the I guess if I just taste hazelnut it'll be good like maybe a hazelnut donut or something okay it's out of the package and let's go over the coffee the ranking coffee rankings I believe I said vanilla nut was number one and salted caramel was number two. And then I like the cinnamon bun for number three. And then I think the maple donut, which is in the other pack, the new um, set of this pack, um, was next. Then pecan pie. I think pecan pie is good, but I just didn't measure it out. And I know I say this every single time, so I don't know. I don't know why I keep repeating. But, um... Pecan pie, um, pumpkin spice, and chocolate donut. That's the order so far, I think. Did I say cinnamon bun? Cinnamon bun is like number three. It's like after vanilla nut, salted caramel, cinnamon bun. And then um, the maple donut. And then the pecan pie, pumpkin spice, chocolate. And we'll see where this hazelnut cannoli will go. And all I have is just um, sweetened cream. No, uh, no extra is like stuff in it. So let's have a taste. 
Mmm. Hazelnut cannoli. Delicious. Like, delicious. Okay. This, let me taste again. Sorry about the slurping. Yeah. Definitely number one. Okay. So then, let's try this hazelnut panettone. I probably should have cut it. Oh well. I'm just gonna break it off. Oh, the inside. Okay, the inside looks quite similar. The outside's a little browner than than the picture, but mmm. Mmm. This is delicious. Okay, so flavor is not too sweet. Um, it's sweet for sure, but not too sweet. It kind of has a yeast. I wonder if this is the yeast bread. Let's, let's check. Mm. Hmm. It has barley malt extract. Maybe that's what it is. But I love the taste of yeast, so... <clears throat> If you're not a yeast person, then maybe stay away from this. But it's not super sweet. Oh, this is delicious. This ranking. Mmm. This is number one. This is number one. What did I put as? Number two is the ginger drizzled popcorn. Um, three would be the chipotle popcorn um then i guess the cinnamon peanut roll and then the lemon lemon cookies because the, again there's like a coating that the cookie leaves after you're done it's kind of waxy the coating the cookie while you're eating it's good but the coating afterwards is kind of waxy so this let me see with the coffee I say nine and a half. Nine and a half. Mm. That is this. Number one. Now on my list. Okay, so that's the snacky. Let me put you up here. What are we gonna do for the crafty? We're not gonna do an actual craft because I'm still just so disorganized and I'm trying to get all my my Timu um, all together. So I think I showed you, I can't remember if I posted. No, I, I initially showed everything I got from Timu real quick. And then that, I was like, that doesn't make sense because you can't even really see it. So I think the last snacky in a crafty, I showed some stickers like individually and some papers. And so we're gonna continue that. I might demo some, um, Stamping, cause like I have so many. Hold on, let me uh let me grab my ink. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. So we're gonna open this. Up. It was a dollar forty-eight at the Timu. Um, supposed to be like 50 stickers and it said uh, retro beauty and again I should just be better prepared but I'm not so these I got these because it said retro and hopefully you can see them because my lighting's not that great but these are pretty cool what I saw of them I don't know I've been getting into like pinups and stuff lately like look at this isn't it so cute like I love it and like this like the cartoon pinups are so cute to me I want to um try to start drawing them and there's like a zombie hula girl I wonder if these are based off some, like this one looks kind of like a real 
I like Rachel. I like this one. And then again, it has something like quirky like this. Like she has, you know what I mean? And like this. These. <laughs> this is cute. This. And this one. These ones. And I just bought a book on pinups, like modern day pinup artists, and it's from like different styles apparently of pinup, the hot rods to the, you know, um, these type deals. Super cute. So a dollar forty eight, that's not bad for all these stickers. Um I like that kind too. And then Betty Page, like Hula Girl, this, 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 this one, some more cartoony, this one, and this one. Alright, so. There's that. And then I got another one of those um, clear glass. Um, it looks like clear glass stickers and you put stuff in them. Remember in the last snacky, I had a mushroom one. And these were, and I said I had the animal one. And I believe this is the animal one. Woodland animal. So this is the jar. And then... I guess you would put, like, oh, it has white mushrooms, this kind of mushroom, some more mushrooms, chanterelles, more of these kind, with, I guess, and this here is the peacock, like, look at these, oops, rabbit, Spare. owl, another rabbit, Oh, black and white um, mushrooms. I didn't know I had this many mushrooms. I thought this was more animals. I mean, cool, but owl, mushroom, mushroom. And then here's some deer. And rams and deer. Again, I thought they would be more like woodland animals. So that's, I mean, it's cool. Probably about the same price as the other one, and you only get one jar. So that's that. Okay, move these stickers aside. I'm just gonna bite this like a sandwich. Mmm. Mm hmm. Delish. And um, let's see what we do. I'm gonna grab some, make some collage fodder. Is that how I'm gonna do that? I'm gonna grab some just graph paper and I'm just gonna randomly stamp some of the stamps. Let's do this mushroom one. I um, did order a couple things to try and do a, a easy stamp store based off of 49 dragonflies but you know they're they're European like notebooks and 
inches and centimeters don't quite add up so I had to um, improvise using American measurements but um so these are mushrooms and these words are written in French I should know champignon bulbo so I know champignon and nom noma's name Latin fungus philodidious bile. Oh, and Francois Le Champignon Bulbe Vulgaire. I'm not sure. I know champignons mushroom. Champignon. This actually is a cute stamp. Okay, so. Here is my little stamp thingy. Let's see. Let's, let's do all the words. Well, let's just do one more. Let's see how that, see if it prints out. Oh, it does. <laughs> all right. and I, I just stamp it till all the ink is off. I don't feel like cleaning it right now, which you probably should not do. You should probably clean, but I'm just, that's how I'm going to clean them for now. Um, I don't know what this is, so let's use this one. I think this is the way it's supposed to go. It's in French for sure. Desire de parties correct. Okay, there's that. So the word ones work. Let's see. Let's see if mushrooms are. Some of the mushrooms um, were. It was hard to get all the details, like especially in the center. I don't know if it's because it wasn't even or and the other mushroom stamps. Ooh, look at that. That is nice. <laughs> this too. Stamp it out. Alright. Um let's try this mushroom with words. It has words with it together. Um this stamp set was a dollar seventy nine, and for real, like even if you go to like Joann's and use the fifty percent off coupon, if they're if the stamps are ever not on sale, it would still be like five dollars. So for a dollar seventy nine, if the stamps work, <gasps> look at that! I love it. Okay, this is Excelente Stamping, and let's try one more. Let's try these cutesy pie little ones right here. So we know the words work, and then we know the mushrooms will work. And we'll move on. Oh, cute. Okay, it's kind of like old-timey illustrative mushroom. Uh, so good deal on that. Let's see. Ooh. Let's look at this one. This one was also a dollar seventy nine, and even though I have two books ones already, I don't have any of that look like these. So let's try the books. I also like the fact that it has an ink well, like super cute to me. Let's do the inkwell and do a blank book. Decided. Let's do that. I'm straighten you out because I need you to be I need you to be straight. Okay, and then I need you to be so straight. Okay. I don't have anything on in the background because 
I left the, um, what is that? Is that a PlayStation? PS4 controller off the, um, charging thing so it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't have charge and I'm not trying to figure out how to change channels, blah blah blah. I'm just gonna let it charge. <gasps> Look, nice, nice. No, oh, okay. Alright, there's this one. Let's do this big, two more papers, this tall one, and then we'll do the long one. Or you know what? We'll just do both at the same time and see how that. See, it'll be real fun once I get organized. <laughs> okay, I can't do both. Um, and then I can just stamp my things according to my project. I can find them real quick. Oh, I didn't stamp very well. This one's kind of fake. I didn't stamp very well. Let me, let me do that here. Oh, nice. I really need to work on my bujo for real, for real. <laughs> it's February already. Like, it's going into the second week. What kind of ridiculousness is that? Again, it's, I feel like it's because I'm not organized. Oh, shoot. I just looked to the right and saw the minty bells. The minty bells are going to be special guests next this week. Um, For those of you that don't know, <laughs> um, Every time I see Minty Bells, or Minty Bells is mentioned, it makes me think of Christy and our college years. College slash early 20s when I came home from Christmas because Minty Bells were a staple. It was like almost a must have like Christmas is here. Even though I didn't really think that they were all that great, but I was just like, um, it's Christmas with Christy and Rochelle, so. Minty bells have to be here. Um, I'm most certainly gonna have some by vacation and probably even into July, so I'll put them in the freezer. It's because I'm on a diet and um, I can only have bad food one day, and I'm not trying to eat all these. Like I said, they're not my favorite, but <clears throat> I'm gonna eat two of these in in honor. Of snacky and a crafty and the special thing that I found minty bells which they don't make I, I thought they don't make anymore but clearly they must unless it's like a 1991 and I can't find the date on where they expire so mmm minty mmm They taste exactly how I remember. Mm. I do like peppermint patties and stuff like this, but I'm gonna see the Just walked in. Okay. 